I have a certain vibe for being on a lecture. I have a certain vibe when I'm about to see my girlfriend. I'll give you an example, like if I'm waking up, usually in the morning I wake up, I go walk the dog. I usually listen to a lecture or a podcast or some kind of audio book. And while I'm outside, I try to say hi to as many people as possible, right? First thing in the morning, I get in the elevator, I'll walk through my lobby, I'll go outside. I'm trying to engage with pretty much everybody I see. I could tell you though, the very first thing I do before that elevator door even opens, I'm catching myself to see where my frequency is at. Because I can promise you, I don't wake up with that frequency. I don't wake up, my, my frequency is off the fucking screen, bro. My, when I wake up, I'm out of it. I don't wake up like how you see on some of these videos. I don't wake up like I'm Coach Kyle. Like I press the elevator button to go down and usually there's about 15 to 30 seconds before the elevator actually appears. And I've just made it a routine for when I press that button, it's a state check for me before I go out and see the fucking world. I need to fucking check myself and catch myself wherever I'm at and adjust myself. There's definitely some people listening It's like, wow, that's like fake as fuck. You can't just like be yourself like when you go out. It's like, dude, who told you to be yourself? Like you do this too unconsciously. We all wake up and we all go into society with this bullshit invisible mask on. But a lot of you guys just do it unconsciously based off of learned behaviors that your parents gave you, that your environment gave you, that your school system gave you, or that previous relationships gave you. Everybody acts a certain way. You all have learned behaviors. You all wake up with this bullshit invisible mask on. So you might as well be aware of what it is and just crank it up to a really, really attractive frequency because over time you are what you do repeatedly you'll become the frequency that you are i've, I've created this character pick up and self-development is character development i've reverse engineered myself into the guy i am right now there's way higher levels that i want to get to that i'm working on building my character to socially financially spiritually physically everything okay it's all character development so you want to see where you're at and reverse engineer your way to being that guy. So back to my story, just to close this out, press the elevator button, 15, 30 seconds, check myself. Typically in the very early in the morning, my posture is not on point. It's usually because I wake up, like if I just, imagine you just woke up, you're going to the bathroom, I'm like this. Like when I'm going to the bathroom, I'm like this. My, my chin's a little down, my eyes are like barely open that much. I'm like, shoulders a little slumped and I'm like leaning forward a little bit as I go to like crack open the bathroom door. Right, get in there, brush my teeth, floss, cold water to the face, a little bit of face wash, SPF, puts the clothes on, grab the dog, go outside, making my way to the elevator, press the button, cool. Let's adjust, fix your posture, chest out a little bit, chin up a little bit, shoulders out a little bit, and probably widen my feet just a little bit. And then the next thing I do is I fucking smile. I look up a little bit and I smile and I think, fuck yeah, like I'm alive. Fuck yeah, let's go, okay? Sometimes I'll do this with my eyes too. As, like, as I just said, fuck yeah, let's go. It's like this, uh, imagine I was like, oh wait, I'm fucking alive. Like, fuck yeah, like obviously I should be happy. Imagine you said that. My eyes look like this. Like my eyes do a certain, my face looks a certain way. I'm like, fuck yeah, let's go. That's the state that I put myself into when I'm pressing the elevator, but I'm like, hmm. Like, like, fuck yeah, like, let's go, fuck yeah, right? That just puts me in a position of gratitude as well as confident and a little bit of power and a little bit of just happiness, right? Because sometimes I wake up and I'm not that happy, to be honest. I wake up, I don't know, just pissed off for no reason, honestly. <laughs> but doing those things, it puts me into a really good mood. I check myself, I feel good. Elevator comes, if there's somebody on the elevator, right away I go talk to them. If not, I'm still in the elevator, like feeling good. I go out and then as soon as I see somebody, I just say, what's up? Hey, what's going on, dude? Hey, good morning. What's up, how you doing? I try to talk like that in the very beginning of the day because I know it's just gonna build up and up and up. There's days where it's not that easy. There's days where it's extremely easy, but what's important is sticking to it because again, you are what you do repeatedly. So check yourself, check your state, and always be aware of it. Whether it's just me waking up in the morning, if I'm about to be on a phone call, or if I'm trying to like flirt with the girl, there's a certain state that I need to put myself into. If I'm about to go on a date, right? Like I'm gonna see my girlfriend later. 
All right, when this call's over, we're probably gonna hang out at some point. I know, she, I know she's probably gonna come down here. It might be late, but I still know when she comes down, I wanna be in a good ass mood. I want that first second when she walks in the door, I want her to feel that fucking emotion. Why? Because people get addicted to feeling that emotion when they're around you. If any of you guys have seen me in person, so there's some guys on the call, you've probably been around me in person. For the most part, you feel a good emotion when you're around me, honestly, like you do. That's deliberate, that's intentional. That's what makes you magnetic, man. People get drawn into the vibe and the emotion that you put out. There's a reason you guys watch my videos because there's a certain vibe, there's a certain frequency that I'm really tapped into that you guys admire or resonate with or want to replicate it. Okay, so all the shit that I'm talking about is just state control, analyzing your frequency, working your way towards the ideal frequency that you wanna like function at in life. And also lastly, keep in mind that there's different frequencies for different vibes, right? There's that a little bit more of that serious man to woman vibe. There's a little bit more of that playful, flirty, kind of a, a vibe, that happy, genuine vibe. There's also a little bit of that asshole vibe too. I think what's most attractive to a woman is actually experiencing all of those from a man. If I were to think back on a lot of my most powerful interactions or pickups that I've had, the girl experiences all of these emotions in an interaction. She experiences a little bit of that stuck up or challenging high value dude, but there's also a little bit of playfulness. And there's also a little bit of flirtiness, but there's also some seriousness and masculinity in there. There's also that all jokes aside moment of realness that's genuine and authentic and just raw and real. And if you guys were to think back on my videos, you probably would say that I'm all of those things as well too, right? So the more you can have all of these different frequencies and have somebody experience all of them, the, the more powerful the seduction can be as well too.